Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to solve a problem on fluctuating loads on power plant. In this video, we are going to understand how to draw load curve, the load factor for the plant as well as load factor for the standby unit. So if we observe in the given question, here table is given that is the power supplies loads to the consumers. Where for this table, first row is for time in hours and second row is the load provided in that particular time period. So during the time period of 0 to 6, load provided 20 megawatt, then 6 to 10, 50 megawatt, 10 to 12, 60 megawatt, 12 to 16, 40 megawatt, 16 to 20, 80 megawatt, 20 to 22, 70 megawatt and 22 to 24, 40 megawatt. Now I will read what is the given question. So first question is that the load factor of the plant. Second question what is the load factor of the standby equipment of 20 megawatt capacity if it takes up all loads above 60 megawatt. So how to draw this load curve. For that we have to take here on this horizontal line time in hours. So total time period is 24 hours. So if we observe the table from 0 to 24. So we have to take here one particular scale and we have to plot this time that is from 0 to 24. So here 0, 2, 4, 6 here partition is made. Now on vertical line we have to take the load in megawatt for because here the load is given in megawatt so we have to take now here maximum load is 80 so from 0 to 80 with particular scale we have to plot the load 10, 20, 30 up to 80 megawatt. Now how to draw the load duration curve? So from this table if we observe for the time hours 0 to 6 what is the load? 20 megawatt. So I will draw here. So here is the time 0 to 6 and load is 20 megawatt. So I will draw here one horizontal line from this 20 megawatt. So here is 0 and we have to extend this line up to 6. So I will join this 6. On this 6 I will draw one vertical line. So here is the point of intersection. So this is the load that we have to show. Now for the next 6 to 10, that is time in between 6 to 10, so here is 10, what is the load? That is 50. So if we observe up to 50, we have to extend here one line. And here also for this 10, we have to extend the line up to 50 megawatt load. Now I will join these two lines. So if we observe for this Time period of 6 to 10, load is 50 megawatt. Now 10 to 12, load is 60 megawatt. So 10 to 12 is here. So we have to extend this up to 60 megawatt. So here I will extend this. So from 60 megawatt we will draw one horizontal line. Then next is 12 to 16. So time is 12 to 16. So here is 16 and for 12 to 16 what is the load? Load is 40. So again for this 40, from this 40 we will mark here one point. So from 12 to 16, from 16 we will take here one vertical line and here is one horizontal line. Then 16 to 20. So for, for 16 to 20 what is the load? Load is 80. So from this 80 we have to take one or we have to extend one point that uh, that will be the here is the point. So 16 to 20 we have to take load that is equal to 80. Then 20 to 22. So for this 20 to 22, here load is 70. So again for this 70 we have to mark here one point. So here is the point for 70. So only for 20 to 22 we have to mark here one point. Mm -hmm. 
and then 22 to 24 it is 40 so again if we observe this is also 40 so I will mark here one point and I will complete this load curve we will first calculate the load factor for the plant so we will understand the formulas how to calculate the load factor that is average load by peak load and how to calculate the average load that is energy generated divided by the time period so how to calculate this energy generated so if we observe this load curve then the area under this load curve is nothing but the energy generated so I will write for the plant that is energy generated for the plant that is equal to area under the load curve so this whole area that we have to calculate so how to calculate so if we observe here we will first calculate area for this first rectangle so this on this horizontal line what is this total length that is length is for 6 hours and on vertical line what is this total height that is for 20 megawatt so we can say that for area of this rectangle is nothing but 6 hours multiplied by 20 megawatt so I will write here 20 multiplied by 6 plus we will add the area for this second rectangle so if we observe this red line marker then here is also the second rectangle this one side is 6 to 10 that is 6 to 10 that is 10 minus 6 4 hours is this length and what is this height so this height is 50 megawatt so 50 multiplied by 4 plus again 10 to 12 so for this 10 to 12 that is only 2 hours and what is the height that is 60 so 2 multiplied by 60 plus then 12 to 16 so for this 12 to 16 this is 4 and here height is 40 so 4 multiplied by 40 plus again 16 to 20 so for 16 to 20 what is this number of hours that is 4 and height is 80 plus 20 to 22 so here 2 multiplied by height is 70 plus 22 to 24 that is 2 multiplied by height is 40 so this is the total area under the curve that is here the number of sections that we have to make and for each section we have to add the area now again we will calculate this so 20 multiplied by 6 that is 120 plus 200 plus 6 multiplied by 2 that is 120 plus 160 plus 320 plus 140 plus 80 so if we add all this we will get the answer 1140 and what is the unit so unit is this load is in megawatt time is in hours so I will say that megawatt hours so this is the energy generated of the plant now we will calculate the average load so I will write here that is average load is equal to average load is nothing but total energy generated by time period so energy generated is 1140 divided by time period time period what is the total time period 0 to 24 so we have to refer this horizontal line so answer is 47.5 so here uh, this time period hours unit is 24 hours so this hours hours is getting cancelled and average load is 47.5 megawatt then we will move for the next that is the load factor so how to calculate the load factor so load factor is nothing but this average load divided by peak load so average load is 47.5 divided by peak load so if we observe peak load is 80 peak load that is the highest load so if we observe here the highest load is 80 so this unit is megawatt megawatt that is getting cancelled and what is the answer 0 0.594 so this is the it is having no unit because megawatt megawatt is getting cancelled and this is the answer for first question 
Now we will calculate load factor for standby unit. Here condition is given that the capacity for the standby unit is 20 megawatt and it takes all load above 60 megawatt. So we will highlight here the area that is the total uh, energy generated by the standby unit. So how to highlight? So we have to take the load above 60 megawatt. So here is 60 megawatt. So we have to highlight this area because this is the line with 60 megawatt load and its a capacity is 20. So it takes load up to 60 plus 20 that is up to 80 megawatt. So here is 80 megawatt line. So in between the 60 megawatt and 80 megawatt we have to highlight this area and this is the area that is by the for the standby unit. Now we will first calculate what is the energy generated by the standby unit. So how to calculate the energy generated? That is we know that area under the curve. But here we have to calculate this total area that I have highlighted. So we know that how to calculate this area. That is this time period multiplied by the load. So for this time period, so here the addition of two areas. So this is one rectangle and here is other rectangle. So what is this one side? That is this horizontal line is 16 to 20. So 16 to 20 that means what is the time hours? That is 20 minus 16 that is 4 hours is there multiplied by for this 4 hours what is the load for this standby unit that is above 60 it takes up to this 80 megawatt so what is this total height 80 minus 60 that is 20 plus we will move for the next 20 to 22 so this is the next area 20 to 22 that is 2 hours multiplied by what is the load so load is in between this 60 to 70 that is this 10 megawatt. So 2 multiplied by 10 which is equal to. So if we observe we will calculate this 80 plus 20 that is 100 megawatt hours. So what is the unit here that is megawatt hours. So this is the energy generated. Now we will calculate the average load. So average load that is this energy generated divided by time period. So we have to consider the time period only for the standby unit. So if we observe here is the area that I have highlighted. So what is this time period that is total horizontal line. So in between this 60 to 16 to 22. So we have to consider only this time period that is here. 2 plus 2 plus 2 that is total time period is 6 hours. So I will write here time period is 6 hours. So I will write average load average load is equal to 100 divided by total time period for standby unit that is 6 which is equal to 16.7. So what is its a unit? So here megawatt hours divided by 6 hours. Hours I was getting cancelled unit is megawatt. Now we will calculate load factor. So load factor that is nothing but average load divided by peak load. So this is also important point. Now load factor for this standby unit. So we have to consider the peak load related to the standby unit only. So here I will write first what is the average load that is 16.7 divided by peak load. So peak load that is the highest load. But here the base is at 60 megawatt. And total height that is the total highest load that is taken up to 80 megawatt. But for the standby unit this vertical line is the peak load. So maximum load taken is 80 megawatt. But it starts from the 60 megawatt. So 80 minus 60 that is 20. So we will write here 20 megawatt is the peak load. So 16.7 divided by 20 that is equal to 0 0.835. So here megawatt megawatt unit is getting cancelled and load factor is having no unit and answer is 0 0.835.